the pain was for maybe 20 minutes and my lips swelled up from this from the sting and that lasted about 30 minutes. Guam Department of Agriculture fisheries biologist Brent Tibbetts recounts the time he was stung in the face by an Indo-Pacific man-o-war. A few years ago we were doing surveys in Pago Bay, one of my colleagues and I, and uh, we were involved snorkeling in the water and I had one a tentacle get me across the face and across the mouth. Uh, it was very painful. We canceled surveys immediately. While not deadly, these jellyfish-like marine creatures can pack a painful sting. And Tibbetts is warning beachgoers to take caution as they've been spotted recently along our northern and eastern shores. They show up every year about this time of year. Kind of the weather conditions that we're experiencing now bring them in close to shore. The unwelcome visitors usually pop up between November to February when we experience strong winds and waves. So far, there have been recent sightings at Taragi Beach, Hinapsan Beach, Pago Bay, and Ipan Talafofo. And if the winds shift, the Manowar may be invading more shores. They may work their way around to the west side, and we may start to see them in Tumon or PD, something like that as well. One beachgoer, Corey Gentry, says she's already had an encounter. Two weeks ago, uh, we went to Taragi Beach, and um, I actually felt like I got a, a little sting or something. My husband looked in the water. He didn't see anything, but later I saw posts on um, Facebook pages that some jellyfishes, or men of war specifically, uh, washed up on the shore. But it's not stopping her or others, like Maria Delridge, from soaking up some sun. There's too many pretty days here to not enjoy the, the ocean, so we take advantage of it, for sure. While beach goers should take caution, Tibbet says it's important to know that they are not the more dangerous Portuguese man of war. These look like little blue bubbles about two and a half inches with tentacles reaching up to six feet long. I like to remind people that they can sting you even if they're dead and laying on the beach. If you see them laying on the beach, the little blue bubbles, don't pick them up. Don't step on them with bare feet, something like that. They can still sting you. And a reminder that if you do get stung, do not pee on it. Here's what you should do. The first thing you do if you get stung is remove any remaining tentacles that are sticking to you. A stick or a credit card or a driver's license, let me scrape them off. Then flush where you were stung with a lot of salt water, not fresh water. And then apply vinegar, it will usually help disable any stinging cells that are still there. Uh, you may want to then apply some heat that sometimes helps lessen the pain and take your favorite painkiller. If you spot any of these Indo-Pacific man wars you are asked to report them to the Department of Agriculture by calling 671-734-0289 or 94 or email brent.tibbets at doag.guam.gov. Mitsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.